folks, uh, while this is obvious, I'll mention it anyway. Uh, tonight's lecture is being recorded uh, thanks to SEC TV. Um, they'll edit the recording and then make the uh, uh, video available to us. I'll uh, email the members uh, with the link to that and uh, we'll put it on our website. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, received a grant from the uh, Eastern Regional Tourism District and we're making a video, uh, Fireside Films is making the video actually, um, to celebrate the centennial and they'll be doing a little recording too. So uh, I hope no one's camera shy, although we'll try to keep it on the speaker and the presentation. Um, my name's Steve Meadow, I'm the president of the Mystic River Historical Society. We do have a little bit of MRS, MRHS business that I want to do. We'll, we'll see if we can set a record for how quick I can do that. Um, our next event is going to be a walking tour of Elm Grove Cemetery. That's on May 21st. And Marilyn, what time is that going to be? What time? 11. 11, okay. Um, that's going to be restricted to about 40 people. So. Uh, you're going to need to make a reservation for that, and you can do that by calling or emailing us at the Historical Society. Um, traditionally, we'll have an annual meeting in May, but because of the meeting that I just told you about that really isn't going to be the full-fledged meeting like this, tonight we're going to do the annual meeting. Um, but I'm going to be very quick about it, and Marilyn, you can start the stopwatch. Um, first item of business is the President's Report. I've prepared a report that uh, summarizes the activities in the past year, how our finances are, what the status is of our membership, physical plant, you name it, it's in there. I will read it to you. Um, I'll be emailing that to our members, and we'll also be putting it in our newsletter, uh, the May June newsletter, which will be coming out next week. Okay, so that's the first item of the two items we've already accomplished. The other one is that Normally at the uh, annual meeting we will elect or re-elect board members. By our bylaws we have 12, excuse me, 12 members. We currently have 11. Uh, they serve for three-year terms. The terms are staggered so every year we're basically electing or re-electing four people. So the four people up this year are Stephanie Thorpe, who is our IT chair, Lindsay Burke Fairchild, who is our social media chair, uh, John Perry, who is our membership chair, and Nancy Potter, who is our corresponding secretary. In addition to that, we have uh, Margaret Austin, who's up for election, as opposed to re-election, although she just left the board a couple of years ago, and she's willing to come back. So uh, we have those five people up for election. And um, in the interest of time, if I could see a show of hands from our members as to who approves the election of those four five people. Any opposed? Okay, it carries. Congratulations. <laughs> so we've, ba we've basically accomplished our annual meeting. But there is one, one more thing I want to do. Uh, Lou Allen, where are you? Could you come up here, please? I think most people know Lou. He is a past president many times over. He is our current treasurer. He's our past treasurer. Um, and he's pretty much been the man behind the curtain making sure that the historical society runs properly. Uh, Lou told me a little while ago he's going to be stepping down in June. Uh, well deserved, but I'm a little afraid of all the things he's done that I'm not aware of that now I need to make sure we do, but he told me he'll, he'll still be around. Um, but the board has uh, signed a certificate of appreciation, and I am going to read this, okay? I must admit that I kind of copied some of the words from my Navy commission, but anyway. <laughs> To all who shall see these presents, greeting. Know ye that for exemplary service to the Mystic River Historical Society for decades, Lewis Allen, past president, past and current treasurer, facility manager, and jack of all trades, this certificate is provided as a small token of heartfelt appreciation for a job well done. The Mystic River Historical Society wishes Lou fair winds and a following C. Given this date in Mystic, Connecticut, 27 April, 2022. Lou, thank you. I didn't prepare a speech. <laughs> I wasn't able to read it anyway. I wish Steve and all the 
the board and the uh, employees the best. I'll still be working for the society. It's good to see everybody tonight. And if you feel like joining, it's really worth it. We have applications in the back. <laughs> Okay, just to set the context a little, obviously this is the year that we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Mystic River Bascule Bridge. That's why you're here tonight. Um, but the society has uh, done a couple other things. Uh, one of them is uh, a rather extensive display at the Groton Public Library that was put together by Elizabeth Boucher and uh, Marilyn Comrie. We had a formal opening for that on April 2nd at the library, and that display is going to be up there through October. So if you haven't had a chance to see it, please drop by. Uh, obviously, we have the lecture tonight as part of uh, the Historical Society's activities. Um, but we have been working with the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce, um, who has been planning uh, this uh, a whole host of events. Um, and uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce Bruce Flax, the president, to uh, tell us a little bit about that. Thanks. Thank you, um, and thank you all for coming tonight. It's a, it's a very exciting year for the Chamber, for Mystic, for the Historical Society. Um, I have been president just over a year now um, in the Chamber. We moved our offices over to um, above Smith Plumbing, right on, um, right on Route 1 there. And uh, this year is super exciting for us. Uh, early on, we decided that there was uh, something to celebrate with the 100th anniversary of the bridge, and we reached out to the Mystic River Historical Society, and we really didn't know, you know, I didn't, I didn't know Stephen, I didn't know Marilyn, um, and they've been really uh, very, very intricate uh, part of, of what's been going on, the planning that's taking place. Uh, Stephen has been tremendously helpful, um, and there when we need him, and uh, we had a lot of great discussions about how this is going to proceed, including the, this tonight, this, this talk tonight. And uh, Marilyn, I don't know how many of you know Marilyn, but uh, Marilyn uh, is a dynamo. You know, she, I just can't say enough about her. She, um, she knows what she wants, and she doesn't, she's not shy to let people know what she wants. And that's a good thing, because uh, we're kind of flying around trying to figure things out, and um, she, she gets us together and makes sure that we, um, we are, you know, to point and, and moving quickly as we can. She's the one who made the cookies tonight, um, which, are, which are delicious. And, uh, and so we're, we're eternally grateful for, for the both of them and also Elizabeth for putting together the, um, the information there. Marilyn's working, um, where the, there's a lot of things I want to tell you about, but I don't want to take a lot of your time. The 100th anniversary is, gonna, is kicking off tonight. Uh, we're fortunate enough that the Whalers Inn purchased the old toy store, and they're not sure what they're going to do with it this summer. So they decided to allow us to be in there for the summer. So within a few weeks, we're going to be opening the 100th anniversary of the Mystic Bascule Bridge Visitor Center. So there'll be a, um, a quarter of the space will be given to a, a retailer who's going to sell t-shirts and sweatshirts called Just Mystic. But we're going to be in there with the visitor center, some information about Mystic, but also history of the bridge that we're putting together um, that will be in there. So we feel that there'll be, I mean, the timing couldn't be any better, and we're going to be 20 feet from the bridge with the history of the bridge and the 100th anniversary of the bridge. So uh, everything lined up right. We, uh, as some people heard earlier, we're selling... Um, uh, pint glasses that have the logo. We made two logos that were designed by Bridge Marketing, which is right over in the Packer building. Uh, we have Candy Bar. We have Outer Lights brewing a 100th anniversary beer, an IPA that we're calling uh, Walk Your Horses, and I think in the presentation you might see why. Um, uh, and so um, uh, along with the visitor center, um, we, you know, we're a nonprofit. We only have two employees, and so we need to staff the visitor center this summer. And so we've... Um, we we're fortunate to have uh, Joni and Deidre, who are here tonight, and who are uh, have Joni has a clipboard. So if anybody is interested in volunteering at the at the um, visitor center this summer, um, you please let us know. You can email us or let Joni know, and um, and we're trying to set that all up. Um, and then let me just make sure I get everything. Um, oh. And yeah, and that, that's about it, except for Jim Streeter, who we're very fortunate enough to have, and who I served on council with when he was mayor, I was councillor. Um, you know, always turned to Jim for advice. Uh, he was always there. He was, I, I mean, Mark's right here. Mark knows. He knows the, uh, the, the trio of things. And, um, you know, uh, when Jim, when I heard 
that they were going to ask Jim to give the speech, we knew it was going to be good and thorough. And, uh, and so uh, appreciate Jim you taking the time out tonight um, to, um, to do this this evening. And so keep your eyes open for things that are happening. And I'll leave you with just one last thing. We, the chamber, has, in, uh, has uh, invested in a, a new app, and the app is called Go Mystic. And you can go to your app store and download it. It's free. And it uh, breaks down all the restaurants in Mystic, the shopping, the events, including the bridge anniversary. It has, uh, for those who are not tourists, which are all you guys, it has a work and live component as well with all of our members on it for easy access. So, um, you know, I know that our family, we're always figuring out where we're going to eat tonight. Well, the, the eat part of it has all of them. And with a, with a, within one button, you have a menu, be able to call, make reservations if they have it, um, see their website and get a map to where they're located. So um, we think it's going to have legs, but we need people to download it. So we hope that you find the time to download it. Tell us what you think, and if you like it, tell your friends that you like it too. Because the more people that download it, the better off we're going to be. So without, with that, I will turn it back over to Stephen. And I appreciate you all coming tonight. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Bruce.